Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Lauren and as you can see, I'm back in the shop again today and I wanted to share with you some inspiration for summer makes that you might be planning over the next few weeks. I did this type of post about a month or so ago, so I thought I'd do a more summary version. So basically I've picked five of our independent sewing patterns that we stock in the shop and paired them with some lovely fabrics for summer. So hopefully it just gives you an idea of good fabrics that go with patterns and yeah, just some ideas for things you might want to make. So I've got three tops and I've got a skirt and a trousers. As always, you can find a blog post that corresponds with this video too. So it's got links to all of the patterns and fabrics that you can get in the shop. Um, we ship worldwide as well. Um, so I'll put the link to that in the description for the video so you can check that out on the website if you fancy having a closer look at any of the fabrics. But I'll just get started right away. So the first one that I've got is the new, um, newish pattern from the Green, from Greenline Studios. It's the Uniform Tunic Pattern. And they actually released this as part of a collaboration with knitting pattern designer I'm pretty sure it was last year but don't quote me on it um, where it was a book that you could make a cardigan that was like sort of simple cardigan but lots of customizable parts to it and then this pattern as well and I actually really liked both of them so I bought the book at the time and I made both I've made the, I wear the tunic loads and I've got the cardigan as well I made the cardigan and I wear it loads too because I made it in a sort of beigey color so it goes with loads of stuff but it's nice to see that green line have bought this pattern out as a standalone sewing pattern for those of you that aren't knitters as well so it's the the sort of basic pattern of it is quite simple it's just a pull on and off sort of shell top but you can choose to have sleeves or not it's got a couple of different necklines as well a rounded one or a sort of very uh, subtle v-neck one and then it's got this sort of separate section at the bottom where you can have inseam pockets or not. My one's got pockets and it's great. And then the bottom section can also be a sort of split hem as well or just all the way around, just sort of straight down. The size range on this pattern goes from a US zero, which is a bust 32, up to a US 18, which is a bust 44. So the fabric that I've chosen to go with this one is a lovely lightweight cotton and it's got quite a fine pinstripe on it. And this is actually really similar to the fabric that I used to make my version of it last year. But this one has got these lovely embroidered cranes on it. So I'll hold a bit up for you just so that you can kind of see how it sort of drapes and moves. It's really lovely and lightweight. And the cranes are actually quite close together as well. So you get quite a few cranes on it for the project that you're making. And I think it would just look really nice paired with some, maybe some leggings or some skinny jeans. That's usually what I wear it with. So yeah, just a nice, lovely summery project. And then the next pattern that I've got is another quite sort of basic, simple one. I think at this time of year, if you're gonna be doing so in quite a meet anyway, it's like quite quick projects you want to do because hopefully if the weather continues to improve a little bit here in the UK, then you kind of want to be outside or like doing other stuff. But if you get a, an urge to sew something, then a quick, easy project is quite good. So the other one I've chosen is the Cashmere at Springfield Top. This is quite a new one as well. And it again is quite a sort of basic, nice, simple, one that you can just pull on and off it's got two different versions one that is a little bit more fitted than the other so there's this this kind of looser fit or the fitted one has got some seams in the back which just sculpt it a little bit more make it more fitted and it's got this nice sort of yoke detail at the back too and an optional hem band so the size range on this pattern is going from a US 12 in a CD cup, which is 40 inches, up to a US 28 in a GH cup, which is 58 inches. So if you're finding that you fall below that size range, then another alternative is the green line willow top. It's just a sort of simple pull on and off with a bust start A-line shape. That's actually the one I'm wearing just now is the willow so yeah they're, they're sort of two options that are very similar just depending on what sort of size and and fit that you want to get out from it so the fabric that i've chosen for this one is one of the new atelier brunette ones it's the granito design it actually comes in three colors the other two sort of darker color ways they're the ones just on the shelf behind me there it's a terracotta and a kind of navy one but i think this lovely off-white background one is really gorgeous for summer and it's got these lovely sort of pebble pebble inspired kind of splodges or sort of spots on them. So that's sort of terracotta colour, kind of light pink and then a blue as well. And it just, it drapes beautifully. It's really nice. It's a little bit sheer, but for a top, I think that's absolutely fine. 
Of course, you could line it if you wanted to, just in a plain viscose. We've got a range of just basic viscose that's good for lining stuff like that. But for a top, I would say you don't need to. I think that would look really nice paired with shorts or jeans or trousers, a little skirt anything really or if it's a bit colder you can sort of layer it up with the cardigan so yeah just a really another lovely nice basic one to have and when it's like a simple construction in terms of the garment then having a really beautiful fabric to sort of show off in that is really nice and then the third top that I chose is the new Tilly in the bath Tilly in the not Tilly in the patterns Tilly in the buttons roll mate top and dress so I'm, I'm sort of talking about the top version of it but basically it's they call it an a uh, what is it? an env slash envelope neckline so the back bodice sort of comes and overlaps the front a little bit so you get this kind of envelope thing happening here so it's just sort of nice variation for a stretchy jersey top just another option in that kind of vein and it also has this really nice back tie detail as well so the fabric that I've chosen is a cotton jersey but it's got this gorgeous gorgeous sparkly lurex stripe within it which is a sort of darker raspberry colour. So the background pink is marled a little bit so it's not a sort of solid colour it's just got a bit more texture to it and then the sparkly raspberry lurex stripe is woven into the fabric as well. It's more of a sort of medium weight, little bit on the lighter side, but I think it would actually look really nice in the tie back version because it wouldn't be too bulky. Like, you know, you don't want anything that's too kind of thick for that back bit. Otherwise, it's going to feel like a lot of fabric in that knot at the back. So I think just the little cap sleeve version, but with that back tie would look really cute in this for summer. And, you know, again, just a nice sort of smartish casual top to pair with a little skirt or a pair of trousers or jeans or whatever just another really nice option the side range on that one goes from a uk 6 which is a bust 30 up to a uk 20 which is a bust 44 so on to the bottom half now and the skirt that i've chosen is from the nina lee camden pattern so the skirt version of that one so this also comes with a pinafore option as well and i think it looks really nice i love those big patch pockets in the front they look really cool and i've just chosen our lovely kind of classic nice light blue non-stretched denim for this which i think would just go with loads of things for a, a garment that's like that, that you're going to wear on your bottom half it's nice to have something that's quite kind of neutral and would go with loads of things this is actually the same fabric that i used to make my megan nielsen dawn jeans if you saw that video or if you uh, follow me on instagram you saw me making them it is called rigid denim but don't be fooled by the name it's not that rigid it's more like referring to the fact that it's not got any elastine in it so it's non-stretch um but you can see that it is actually it's like fairly soft and yeah it's just a lovely nice light blue color and the size range on this pattern goes from a UK 6, which is a waist 24, up to a UK 20, which is a waist 38. And then the last project idea that I've got for you is the Closet Case Patterns Jenny overalls, which come with a trouser version as well. So these are really lovely wide leg trousers. You've You've got optional patch pockets at the back and slash pockets at the front. You can make a cute little pair of shorts as well. And because the leg is quite wide on this, I think you want something that's got a bit more sort of body to it. Otherwise, it's just going to sort of droop and kind of flop all over the place, really. So I've chosen some of this really gorgeous. It's called lilac denim, but it's quite a pinky lilac, I would say. When I've come to film a little close-up video of this, actually quite hard to get the colour. But it is, it is quite a soft lilac, quite pinky. And it probably, in real life, it probably looks like it's got more colour in it than it does in the video. It was quite hard to get it not looking overexposed in the video. But hopefully you get an idea when I sort of hold it out here as well. So it's not, it's not stiff. It's not like really kind of rigid and heavy. But I think it does have enough sort of body in it that it is going to hold the shape of those wide legs in it too. So I think it's just a good match for this sort of pattern. It does have a little bit of stretch in it, not much. So I think that's good for a pair of trousers anyway. It just gives you like a little bit more kind of comfort when you come to sit down and move around in them, do a bit of dancing, whatever. Um, so the size range in this pattern, it goes from a US zero, which is a waist 24, and that goes up to a US 20, which is a waist 39. So you could definitely use this fabric to just make the overalls as well if that's what you fancied. Looks nice just paired over a kind of plain white t-shirt or something. So 
plenty of options within that pattern as well. It's always good when patterns come with lots of different options. So I hope you found that useful and given you some ideas for projects that you might want to make. Um, as I said in the beginning, you can always check out my blog post if you want to see any of these fabrics in more detail on the website and find out, you know, more about them. But thanks so much for watching guys and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!